It is Shooter, and we are going to jump into just a quick market recap. Primary waves, of course, at the end of our presentation, please do review our disclosures. Okay, right now, you know, we look pretty good as far as Bitcoin's concerned. Make sure I'm sharing the right screen. You know, we're still building out this base. You know, our I, I think that 38, 8, or 38,981 was our low. Uh, really, as long as this base hold, yeah, I, that wick off was, you know, that was on news that the SEC wasn't going to approve ETFs. So <clears throat> my bias is still to the upside. Let me put it that way. Um, I've left my minor wave targets up here at 47,125 and my minor wave four at 45,751. I'll adjust those Friday. If the counts change, otherwise I'm I'm sticking to it. All right, um, GBTC still looking for that 38. You know we're pushing that 37 right now for our minor wave three. Then we get a little back test, and we come in around that 30. So here again, same comments before around 38.50 start trimming simply because this breath is pretty deep. So right now I'm seeing this a sell the news event once the Bitcoin ETFs are approved. This is what this is telling me right here. So we're going to get up to about that 39, then we're going to flush back to 21. So whether you want to hold that risk or not is your baby, not mine. All right. Now, Bit Farms, we've reset just a little bit. So we're broadening here as well. So our next entry long is going to come in around 257. After we get this push up here, this will be an intermediate wave up here, three, and this will change into a intermediate wave four. And I'm just going to get rid of those fibs for the moment, just so you guys can get a clean look. You know, so our golden box is way the heck up here, still at 527. So, but realize it's going to go up there once that, you know, so what Bit Farms is seeing too is that we have that sell the news kind of event, or at least that's my thesis. I might be wrong, you know. Hey, that's just my take on it. Now, coin our minor wave four is going to come in around 139. So that would be our next entry long. Our four was our three was pretty close on our minor wave, a little shallow. So we've now got a new primary wave set up on hive. So now our target one is up at 868. Our target two is going to be for our primary wave four back at 663. So all right now that's the best looking chart that we have, but I'm going to take a picture of that. I'll throw that in chat for y'all. Okay, let's jump over to the indices and the dollar. You know, dollar is going to push a little bit more here. So, you know, we could close red Friday. That's for sure. Maybe 102 with that look, then we should continue lower. How clean was that for indices? Geez, that's sometimes that's the greatest tool in the world. Or let me rephrase that the greatest tell in the world for which direction indices are going to go. So <clears throat> um, our minor wave two has come in a little shallower. Excuse me, it's going to be an intermediate wave four. Um, then we should bounce to our primary wave three around 485. So we're staying right in that extended box. Right now we haven't broken below it really. I mean, just slight, but that's the look. I don't th see any reason, you know, just we're this is leg one. We're gonna get leg two and leg three up here. So again, until that trend support breaks, 456.30. We are in the trend. It is your friend until the end. NASDAQ's about done at this 394. Really slow though. I mean, even though you know, like daily can't, I mean, just not an escalator down, but you know, it's had one hell of a range every day. Um, actually a little weird. I, you know, I, yeah. it's almost like it wants to sell, but it can't because somebody's holding it up. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's sometimes how I feel when I'm looking at things. So, so I would assume our next entry loan is going to be 394 on the NASDAQ. Um, but assume this extends. So right now we don't have a clean ABC there. So it could extend a lot, actually. You know, it could bounce, um, do something like this. Let me just show you real quick. So we're going to get something like this, maybe something like that. Let me just throw that over there. So it'd be something like that. So it bounced to maybe 404 and then down to 388. I realize anytime I don't have my patterns in a corrective leg, it's telling me something. It's leg A. <laughs> I mean, that's it. We don't have an AB, so it's an A. <laughs> that's how simple it is. All right. Looking at the Dow, now this has really been relative strength. I mean, just staying right here on this flat. Ooh, that's pretty because then the NASDAQ and the SPY get going. We're good. However, IDM is in trouble. We fill the gap, right? Let me come out to the weekly, give you a better visual. Here's your tell. Now, I always don't like distorted lines when the software gives me the response because it's too canned. I don't know. Does that make sense? But <clears throat> that sure looks to me like it's ready to come off like here or here or here. Notice the, the breath. Look at, look at this, this, this one right here. I don't want to, I don't want you know, I'm not 
being that. But that looks very viable to me. You know, back to the 78.6, you know, first leg down, golden box to the downside. Yeah, that's what I see. All right, TLT, you know, flushed a little bit. I think our cycle wave four is in. So next entry long is right around 96.72. Let me jump off the weekly to give you a bigger visual on that. So actually, then we go out to the two week. I can see maybe I got to go out to the monthly. It is way the heck up. So our target three is way the heck up there at 242. Now, that's way the heck out at 2040. I mean, it could be viable. At this point, just trade your levels, you know, Assume that August, you know, we don't get to the 2003 back at 93. If we do, just have a strategy to scale from where we are. You know, I would love to get a little more to the downside here, but I doubt that it's going to give it to me. So, you know, 50% back is still way the heck down here. I don't think it's going to happen in an impulse like, but it could, it could, it could, it could. So, you know, I have to consider that. So 61.8 is back to 92. It's done nothing wrong if it hits the 78.6 where that support is. So this breaks, and then I might be trimming my logs. Okay, that's, you know, at this point, I think we're good. So that's what I have for today, folks. Great trading. Until next time.